day and yes I am getting ready to get out of here right now so it's gonna be quite a day it's a memorial service so memorial service um, means the, the loved one is not present the body is not present to be viewed so we just have like a nice memorial setup which I will show you and yeah pretty simple probably boring hopefully not but I'll take you along I also have a direct burial um, meaning all we have to do is drop off the remains at the cemetery well that's what we were hired for we were only hired to do a direct burial which for us means to prepare the remains we have to embalm we have to dress in casket and everything but direct burial means that they're not being viewed or anything like that. They're not having a service. They're just gonna be directly buried. So we're supposed to just drop off the remains at the cemetery. Sorry, my TV is loud. <laughs> I like to watch TV or like to have the TV watch me in the morning pretty much. Um, but yeah, so we're supposed to just drop off the remains at the cemetery. But then I got a call from the cemetery on yesterday and they said, oh, so we're, we're verifying the service for blah, blah, blah. I'm like, the service? No, it's supposed to just be a direct burial. Well, no, we have it listed here as a service. Oh, I'm sorry. If I look ashy on camera, it's because of this dog on SPF that they gave me at Laser Array. I am not feeling it. I'm hoping that the oils from that naturally come on my face we'll just go ahead and come through because yeah i don't know what's up with this i'm not using it again though but anyways yeah so i just told them like we were just hired to drop off whatever they schedule with you guys that's that's not on us and they do that families do that they play the cemetery against the mortuary and then they get they take everything out on the mortuary though it's never the cemetery like at the cemetery um, when you have a graveside service, you do not, you cannot open the casket. Not unless you pay to uh, have the uh, a viewing or something in the chapel, like in a covered area. But other than that, they do not allow you to open up the casket. Let me turn this down. Turn it off because I'm about to leave. So anyways, they do not allow you to open the casket. But guess who gets blamed for that when it's not thoroughly explained to them at the cemetery? We do. We get cussed out. My staff get cussed out. I don't know. We like, listen, we don't have anything to do with that. That is, that is, has nothing to do with us. We cannot control the cemetery. Whatever their rules are, is their rules. You cannot get mad at us because they did not explain it to you. But naturally, this mortuary is always the, the person to get blamed. Um, always the person to get left off the uh the program they always say uh interment and they put the cemetery but they never put the mortuary some people do but for for the most part a lot of people that do their own programs and they don't go through our firm or use our print company um yeah they leave us off like like the cemetery did everything <laughs> all they did was bury your loved one that's it we did everything else. But yes, I'm about to get out of here. Um, got to get prepared for everything. See you later. <laughs> I can't read the last name. What time is that? I have no idea. This is a direct burial. Okay. Supposed to be dropping off. The people uh, who pay for it, for the services, get it to the second. I don't know where the 
We got you doing their job. Over there? Yeah. I get to the court of Okay, you guys, so big, big, big hiccup today. Big mistake. So, as you saw, my mother was driving our van where we dropped off um, at Inglewood Park Cemetery for a direct burial. And we have a memorial service that we're um, doing today at one o'clock, and it's now after 11.30, I think it's like 11.40. So <laughs> we're preparing for that and we part of the memorial setup is you know there's canvas there's uh, nice uh, flowers and candles and it's just a nice memorial setup but the flowers are like the main the main attraction you know it was it, it, it's what brings the memorial service to life so to speak so she told me to ask me to text the young lady that we we get our flowers from and let her know that we were um, on our way and I did that and she responded uh, well you never sent the urn or whatever and I'm looking at that like what I was confused I'm like what does this mean because I didn't know anything about what they discussed so she goes oh my god wait because I, I told her I, I, I might be able to get you to take the urn over there so that she can fit it or whatever um, because I wanted a special type of urn arrangement for the flowers and I told her I might be able to get you to go take it and I said well I didn't know anything about this she said yeah I didn't I didn't even ask you because you were too busy and she said she said please don't tell me that she didn't make it she didn't make the she didn't make it at all so I was like oh my gosh <laughs> so we get there and we we always get a standing spray which is the flowers that stand on an easel or um, and an urn arrangement and that's the flowers that go around the urn so we get there she didn't make nothing she wasn't even there so I'm like you're you're kidding me we have to drive 50 almost an hour away with no flowers are you kidding me so I said go back to the mortuary I just this is my mother hold on guys Yes. Martha, Martha is making it. I'm heading downtown. Perfect. Good. You told her lavender? She said that no problem. She said send it to me. And I said, remember, we're the people that said we were going to put your information on our website. I said, we've done that. So um, she said, just send me what you need. Just send me what you need. You want me to have her make anything else or what? Uh, no. <laughs> I just told her. I told her. I sent her a picture. I said, if you can copy it, fine. If not, just make me an urn arrangement. She said, what size? And I said, a medium size. And you Is told her. It? And you told her the standing spray as well, right? Right. Yes. Okay. I okay. said all. I said, just make it beautiful for us. I said because I had to let the owner go on to Diamond Bar. I got to get these flowers and get to the get to Diamond Bar. So I sent it. I sent a picture of it. I said, if you can copy it, fine. If not, just make it beautiful, and I'll be there to pick them up. Oh. I always spring it to action. Go back to the mortuary. Hurry up. Yep. I'm gonna have yep. to. I'm gonna have to get to Diamond Bar because I'm the one that sets sets up the memorial services. No one else mm -hmm. knows how to do it. So I'm gonna right. have to do that. And then you go and try to get some flowers. And yep, I got it. We both what we we do okay uh, together, right, right? even though we get on each other's nerves. Yes, you you, you know it was a little just you know, a little. You work little. my nerves too, baby girl. Oh, you you, you work my. Look, we're going to stop and eat somewhere when we get out of this, this over But, this. um, I was a little, getting a little bit upset because I was like, why didn't you verify them flowers? Oh, my gosh. We, we got to start doing that. 
we have yeah, to we start, start making that. sure that everything is ready for these services because we keep getting into situations like this and it is oh and i don't want to hear it's a spirit of sabotage no more because that spirit is lingering i don't want to we got to stop saying it got to stop saying this don't speak the negative and you of all people minister should know Mm -hmm. but I pray against it yeah you pray against it but you got to stop saying it mama you got to stop saying it see I got to tell the minister to stop saying it and the minister not listening to me cause she, whatever, she, whatever, whatever. okay I must navigate where are you in the toilet right now girl. you need to get to oh my god Good. Goodbye, Mom. I am, Ray Ray. I'm going, baby girl. I gotta give her time to make the dog on thing. Oh my god. I'm going. I told her I was on the way. Y'all hear her and she's insubordinate all the time. Like last night. <laughs> I don't was I videotaping last night? I probably was. I don't know. When she uh was trying to get loud with me. And she talking about this mama talking now. Ain't that it's so convenient. You could turn mama on and off. Actually, she keeps mama on all the time. Every time I, I snap at her or something like that or get upset with her because of something that wasn't done for the mortuary or something that went wrong, she always snap back at me and then want to throw the mama card at me. And I'm like, mom, that's not right. It's not right. This is business. And of course, I'm not going to get too out of pocket with my mother. That's of course, but... Oh, Jesus. Lord, work it out. Work it out to where these flowers get here on time. She need to hurry up and get to those flowers, though, because it's all the way downtown L.A., and we're in Eaglewood, so... And, yeah, I'm eating. That's why I'm chunky. Chunky like a dog on chipmunk. But I'm starting a juice cleanse, you guys. I'm starting a juice cleanse. I want to do that every month for four days where I'm only drinking juice for four days. And I did order from Pressed Juicery. I'll put the information in the description box below. I ordered from them and um, yeah, so it's a good like detox and I'm hoping to not only, you know, lose some pounds and some inches, but jumpstart, hoping to jumpstart my my healthy journey again and try to stick with it i am so that's why i'm binge eating this week which is not good i know i know all you diet all dietitians and nutritionists and all i know you guys are like cringy doctors <laughs> but uh, i gotta get it out of my system hopefully and then hopefully you know i'll start clean next week and i'll get some of this this weight off of me and I'll be back to normal and feeling like myself again so that's the goal this time I need to stick to it I just need to stick to it I need to you guys hold me accountable please help me <laughs> help me because it's just oh my god it's a struggle it really is I, I never thought that I would be this way ever oh but no eating no junk food, no um, juice or anything, just water, um, no pasta. Let me drive. I'll come back later. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, let me navigate. Gotta go. I am a family service counselor, aftercare specialist for Exquisite Family Mortuary in the city of Inglewood, California. Please come by and join our firm. And please make sure that your family have their arrangements in advance. It's better to have it than it's needed because we deal with end-of-life matters. You know why? 
end of life matters this is where they get to sign in this is called a digital registry so this is where they get to sign in and they just sign the registry this way instead of the actual old school booklet and this is the man right here yep still doing the books still doing it. Still every doing it. week every day <laughs> every day all right this is the man right here for if you have any pre -need needs at all this is this is the man to call yep keith Mr. charles keith charles Family Service counselor it's good the family mortuary you can reach me at 562-688-2365 I give you any information you need to help your family. No obligation. We just always like to inform our community and educate them. So here at Exquisite Family Mortuary, that's what we do. We educate you and give you great information, and you can choose after you get the information. Mm -hmm. Nice. Just sit in the back. Okay. Thank you, Ron. I'm going to call Darshana um, to come share some memories and remembrance and whatever the Lord leads on her. Okay, now what happened to you? Now I need to know because you were very late. I was trying to get over. You were like a half hour late. Well, I was only due to get. No, you were supposed to get here. You, you were supposed to get here before one, but then you told me an ETA of 10 after one. But I didn't leave. When you called me the last time when I was at the flower shop, you I You told me, left the I said, what shop. is your ETA? And you said it 110. says 110. Then I got on the freeway and was getting to, the closer I got to here, the traffic starts slowing down. And then I didn't want to speed up because you didn't have no gas in your car. If you speed up and run out of I gas. I told you that. So you should have left the mortuary going to get gas. When I, I left the mortuary speed and get trying to get downtown. That's what I did. <sighs> Lord. I can't. No. I can't. I literally told her when I dropped her off at the mortuary, I said, I don't have gas in my car because the light came on when I was on the, um, when I got off the freeway. And I told her that specifically, but what was she doing? You guys were, you guys were there with I, me. I no. She was in the bathroom. Yeah, lollygagging. I'm 60. I, I'm not, no. I was it, not lollygagging. It takes me 15 minutes to get to the freeway. Some 10 to, 10 to 15 minutes to get to the freeway. And I was just getting on the freeway and she was still at the mortuary. I was trying to use the bathroom. For that long? You did number one or I number two. I sat in the car. <laughs> I sat in the car. Number one or number two. the flower shop. And I placed the order for the flowers in the car. It was an emergency. Then I had to use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. I'm entitled to go to the bathroom. I mean, although the Lord made a way for us to make this happen, you know, I really, really hope and pray that the family was pleased and don't have any complaints. But the flowers were late. I had to play it off. I had to like put the flowers, like have somebody bring the flowers behind me and do it like it was a ceremony. These flowers is what I'm referring to. These are the urn arrangement. Um, flowers so the urn sits in this beautiful floral arrangement but the urn was just sitting there plain which is fine because a lot of services they do it that way I mean but some services we want it you know to look nice you know it's, it's just dependent upon the family but we didn't have this then I went to look for my lighter that I keep in my basket it was not there so no you know, the devil be busy, but God get the glory all the time. Service is done. That's my dad. No, the, the thing, I don't know why it keeps doing that, but it's driving me nuts. Service is done. Um, she like wants to be all up in my camera, like all in my personal space. Six feet, please. <laughs> like service is done. Uh, to God be the glory, it went well. Um, no complaints. Hopefully, prayerfully, no complaints ever but um they were pleased so yeah this is where we had the service Beautiful, nice big church and so yeah diamond bar california 
I think it's called Calvary something. I can't remember. But if you need any details, just let me know. I am about to head back. I'm very hungry. I haven't eaten anything except for a few malt balls and sis is tired so and hungry and my stomach is growling and hers was growling too because i don't think she ate, ate anything either and hers was growling all throughout the service i'm like hello can you shut that up i keep looking up here sorry guys but i need to look at you <laughs> but about to head back so see you in a bit all right i look a mess i changed my clothes because we got to tackle this office i was gonna pick up two loved ones tonight but it's not gonna happen I'm gonna have to pick them up in the morning because we still have, oh God, all of this to pack up. All of this, all of this. So y'all remember this room, remember it, okay? So this is the doorway, okay. So this is the current, uh oh, sorry. This is the current doorway. Oh, see it so they are going to make this wider it's going to be like a double door um entry so that way we can be able to get caskets in here because this room eventually is going to become a viewing room prayerfully guys we will get our upstairs prayerfully we will get our upstairs done right now the numbers They ain't adding up properly, y'all. It's just, it's too high. And I'm like, we lease this building. We don't own it. And if the owner was willing to sell it to us or, I don't know. I just, I just cannot see putting that kind of money into this building and we don't own it. You know? Why do I look ashy? Mom, why do I look ashy and you didn't tell me? I can't tell that you look, you don't look ashy to me. That's why you I didn't tell you. I look ashy, you know? I'm so fat. Look at her. Acting like she working. Whatever. <laughs> Some of your so, followers can come and help us. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so, pray for us, guys. Hopefully, we'll be able to... Oh, sorry. Pray for us. Hopefully, we'll be able to get the upstairs done. Cause that was the goal that was the whole purpose of us getting this room started first so that way they can hurry up and start upstairs but then when they came with those astronomical numbers i was like oh god i don't know pray that some miracles will happen with the the numbers or pray that the landlord sells us the building or pray that we just get a whole new building all together I don't know. It doesn't matter because we still gonna keep this building. So, <laughs> oh, pray that the numbers get get adjusted. Hallelujah. Pray. Even if we did the floor and just set up tables up there to meet families with the floor is secure. The heck, no! How ghetto? No. We are under construction and they can follow us through our <sighs> process. What are you talking about? Oh my God, would you People guys know? You time. you tell me in the comments, you guys, if that's ghetto. She's talking it's about- not ghetto. White people do it all the time. I need to see the, these white people you're referring to. I'm telling you, they, it's in the make of warehouses that are- Warehouses. Empty. This is not a warehouse. A, they don't know it's not a warehouse upstairs. It's this is not a warehouse. No, it's not. Oh my gosh, this is a storefront building. Let's store not front. try to make it something that's not. I am not going to lay the floor upstairs and then go put up tables and tell people to come up there to... to, to We're under construction. I don't see what's wrong with that. She don't see what's wrong with that. Anything could happen. Lies. Anything could happen Lies. and we're, li we're liable for it. But the floor is con it's a good floor and the stairs work. What are you you still about? need lighting and everything up there. You still need lighting upstairs. I was up there in the daytime, Mom. I'm not arguing with you no more. Okay, guys. I'm about argument. to finish. I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish in here and I'm gonna try to get home and get to bed because Tomorrow is a long day. 
Oh God, I can't. 